वेलकम एवरी वन सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व अ वेरी नाइस इंडाइसिस प्रॉब्लम द क्वेश्चन इज नाइन डेज टू एक्स प्लस नाइन डेज टू एक्स प्लस नाइन डेज टू एक्स प्लस नाइन डेज टू एक्स इज इक्वल टू एट्टी वन एंड वी नीड टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ नाइन डेज टू एक्स द फर्स्ट थिंग वॉट वी कैन डू इज सी वील टेक नाइन डेज टू एक्स कॉमन सो वी आर लेफ्ट विद वन प्लस वन प्लस वन प्लस वन ओके इट इज इक्वल टू एट्टी वन सो दिस लुक्स लाइक नाइन डेज टू एक्स इन टू फोर इज इक्वल टू एट्टी वन Now, in order to find the value of x, we'll divide both sides by four first. So this looks like nine days to x equals to eighty one upon four. So this can also be written as what nine days to x equals to nine uh, upon two, the whole raised to two. Correct? Because eighty one and four are both are what squares of nine and two respectively. So now here after this we are stuck. We can't do much. So in this case, what do what we'll do is we'll use log, log of nine raised to x equals to log of nine upon two, the whole raised to two. So first thing what we will do over here is we'll remember the rules of log. Okay, so we will first understand there is a rule of log in indices. So log of a raised to m can be written as m. log a so using this this looks like x log 9 then here this looks like 2 log of 9 upon 2 okay so now understand log of a upon b can be written as log of a minus log b so this can be written as what 9 minus log 2 and this 2 gets multiplied to the whole thing The next thing what we should do is because we need to find the value of x, we'll divide both sides by log nine. Okay. So here this cancels, and now we have the value of x as what x equals to two into when you split it. So we have log nine upon log nine, which is one minus log two upon log nine. Okay. so let's put the value of x as what if they have given you the log book then you have to put on the values otherwise you can leave your answer over here okay so next let's put the values we have 1 minus log 2 upon log 9 the answer comes out to be 0.312 okay so finally this looks like x equals to 2 into One minus zero point three one two is what basically zero point six eight eight. So when you multiply, the value of x comes out to be one point three seven six. Okay. Now, <coughs> students, please understand. I forgot to tell you one very important thing that yes, the answer can be written in this form. Okay, this can be one form. the other form which you can also write is what see it can be written as x equals to 2 into 1 minus log of 2 to the base 9 okay lot of times the options also have something like this now why have i done this the reason for that is that log of a upon log of b can also be written as log of a to the base b Okay, so using the same logic, this looks like log of two upon log of nine. I have applied the same logic for this one. Okay, I hope this is very very clear to everyone. So either your answer will be this, or it will be this, or it will be this. Either of that should be your answer. Now, another thing, a lot of people keep wondering is that how did we go from year to year? You know. So basically, your question was what nine days to x plus nine days to x plus nine days to x plus nine days to x equals to eighty one. Okay. So now when I have to do something like this, and they have not given you the logbook, and this is for an entrance, okay, where they have given you options, okay, and if none of the options have cannot be determined, or oh no, cannot be determined is not the right option, but if the options Had an option saying that none of these, then we are stuck. 
okay but if there was no option which was telling you none of these then in that case it's very very easy to do this orally okay so what happens is let's say the answer for this one was for a it was what two point something something here it is one point something something then this is three point something something and here we have four point something something so now think and pause that from just by looking at the entire question how can i deduce out of the given four values which value is the correct one the answer is very very simple see if i put two point something something let's take round it off to two so nine square plus nine square plus nine square plus nine square this comes out to be 81 into 4 this is definitely not equal to 81 in fact it's much higher than 81 so this is your first hint other is thing is we should just put value of 9 as 1 let's round it off to that this comes out to be what how much 18 18 plus 9 is what 27 plus 36 so we look like 36 is also not equal to 81 so then in this case what you should do see always remember that if the other values for all of these rest of the values okay your answer is going on much ahead of 81 then in that scenario it's very very simple that you should select the one which is smaller than 81 even though you will realize that this looks very very further from each other but just because they have given you options i, I would tell you to utilize those options and save a lot and lot of time while doing these kind of questions okay let's take for one more example <coughs> sorry if this was what 7 raised to x plus 7 raised to x plus 7 raised to x okay and this is looking like what uh, let's say this is looking like um, 21 okay so here we have what this is 3 times 7 raised to x equals to 21 dividing both sides by 3 to get the value so this is cancelling so we have 7 raised to x and this also looks like 7 so from here i can directly say x value is 1 okay but if they had given you the options in that case also i would suggest you to put the values of the options and do it very very quickly and this was very very easy if you just look at the entire options uh, sorry entire question you know that if i put the value of x as 1 you should normally start with 1 okay and in in case this was like very very ahead this was more than 2000 or something then you should put values 1 of 1 2 3 4 for which value this is sufficing okay so this is my entire opinion on how to solve these kind of questions without wasting too much of time that's it for today i will see you in the next video